Let's go YouTube. Now normally I would start recording in the truck, but it's kind of later in the day. You guys see. You guys can see we're about to get about dropped off this trailer and we're gonna take the same trailer they're just gonna unload it real quick and then the same trailer we're gonna take to I believe is i forget where we're going it's upstate new york right now we are in connecticut but this is like a new area a new spot i've never been to but yeah you guys can see it's not that much they gotta unload so he's gonna unload it and then because i have to pick up an empty from here so we're gonna end up just taking the same trailer once he unloads it it's gonna be an empty so yep we're about to back this in at 120. We're just gonna unhook real quick so he can unload and then hook back up after. Now, you see the light turn red? I don't know if you guys can see. I gotta clean that. But once it turns back green, we should be able to take the trailer. All right, trailer is unloaded. You guys can see the light is green again. So let's just hook this up. And we can go on our way to uh, upstate New York. I think it's called SWF2. If I'm not mistaken. But yeah, we already did the pre-chip on this. So basically just hook up and go. I'm just gonna close the doors and then we should be good to go. Time to head out. Easy day on a Sunday. All right, so we're on our way to upstate New York. Like I said, we picked up that empty there. Well, the same trailer we took there, they unloaded it really quick. And then now we're going to Hopewell Junction, New York. So that's where we're going to, which I've been there a couple times already. So right now we're going through this street. I've never been through this area. 
uh, this should lead us to um, 84 and then we'll just take 84 west um, until we get to our destination so we're about I want to say like an hour and then from there we'll take our break uh, ate Chipotle like not too long ago maybe like an hour and a half before so I'm pretty full and now on my way back I'll probably just pick up like a, a protein shake maybe from one of the rest areas so that way you know I can try to get in my my amount of protein I need for each day and then I'll just get home and probably eat something small so yeah today is pretty easy it's a Sunday like I mentioned very nice out like very very nice it's about 70 degrees out you know very warm see the leaves are very are changing now they're turning to like orange and red so even though it's fall the mornings are kind of really cold and then during the midday it's like warm so in the morning you need a hoodie but by the time the midday comes around like one two o'clock in the afternoon it's definitely like warm you can't have that hoodie on or well, at least not for me i'll start sweating but yeah it's a little cold it's a little cold in the morning then it gets warm in the day then it gets cold at night It's just so weird going through these streets and I'm like the only truck. I don't see any other trucks. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe, press the bell notification button so you guys don't miss another video. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys smash the like button. Let's get this video up to, let's get it up to 50 likes. I know we could do it. We're almost close to a thousand subscribers. I'm pretty sure 50 of you guys can like the video. So let's get this video up to 50 likes. Comment down below whatever you guys want to see next. Any questions you guys have, anything you guys want to see in the video, I'll make sure I can make a video on. So yeah, comment down below. Uh, any video suggestions and smash the like button. Let's get it to 50 likes. But with that being said, we are about 15 minutes away from this is Amazon that we're going to right now. We're gonna drop this off. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, we're picking up another loaded trailer. And we're going to Staten Island. From Staten Island, I think we're going to Carteret or Edison. I'm not sure which one of those two areas. And that's, that should be it. Like I mentioned, I'm probably gonna take my break at this location that we're going to. Just because but I didn't bring any lunch. I already ate Chipotle, but so I didn't bring any lunch. But I'll just take my break. You know, I'll just probably take a nap or whatnot if I'm tired. All right. So we're about to. We're literally down the street from it. We just gotta turn left right here, and then go straight down, and then turn right into the entrance, check in. Now we see where we're gonna drop off this trailer and pick up the other trailer that we're here to pick up. Pulling in right now, um, you guys probably can't see the glare of the sun is like so bright. So I'll just pick it up once I'm out of back this trailer into a parking slip or a dock door. All right, we're looking for parking slip 926. I'm not sure if it will be on my left. I think it's gonna be on my right. And if it's already taken, then I'll just park next to it, which think it's not so we're about to back into this right here
this real quick. to 903 parking sub 903 hook up and then we're gonna be on our way to um, Staten Island and then from there Avenel all right so we already hooked up we are about to check out and then head over to Staten Island so it says it should be about two hours so that should be good. I'll take my break over there. Just cause I wanna actually get out of this area since they don't really have street lights at night. So I don't wanna drive in the dark. So yeah, just like I was saying, now, right now you guys can still see there's a little bit of light, a little bit of sunlight still. So I could probably make it to Jersey before it completely darkens out because if you know about driving upstate New York, like it's pitch black it's a lot of just trees and long roads long highways but not that much light they don't really have any like street lights or anything it's just more like just the the lights from the car and the headlights and stuff like that so i mean i've done it before i just i still got some time before i gotta take my break so might as well take advantage and get to Staten Island so at least I know once I'm over there I, driving at night over there is in Jersey is completely different you got a lot of like street lights and it's just more lighting when driving at night I'm not saying I can't do it but if I don't have to if I could just leave now might as well I need to take a break over there But if you guys like what you guys see so far make sure you guys smash the like button i'm gonna be making more uh videos showing you guys how to hook up to a trailer how to make sure you know your your tractor and the trailer at the right height so you guys can properly hook up to the trailer without you know missing the kingpin or or hitting the trailer because the trailer is too low so i'll be making a video on that possibly in my next video so if you guys are interested make sure you guys subscribe and stay tuned you guys are not gonna want to miss it never seems to miss we ran into some traffic so yeah I mean, at least we're almost close to New Jersey. I think borderline is probably like eight miles from here. So like 10 more minutes. But yeah, I should be at Staten Island by 8.12. It's currently 6.34, but I don't know. With this traffic, we're going to see. Luckily, they changed. Um, so Staten Island, I was supposed to pick up an empty and drop it off in Avenel. They switched it to a bobtail. So basically... I don't have to go to Avenel, so I could just skip that. I could just skip that stop. Uh, I'll show you guys how to do it in the app, just so you guys can see what to do when you guys don't have to like pick anything up. And it's just like a bob tail in, bob tail out. I'll just show you guys briefly, real quick in the app. Once I get to Staten Island, of course, and like I check out, I'll show you guys exactly what to do. All right, we just made it to Staten Island. Uh, I made it with like literally 10 minutes left on my time Like my clock for me to take a break. So I got like 10 minutes Until I have to take a 30 minute break or else I get like a violation. So luckily we just made it There was a lot of traffic getting into Staten Island. I don't know why but we luckily made it in just in time to check in and then also You know take the 30 minute break so we don't get a violation So we are gonna drop off to the one. There's a there's a lot of Amazons. I don't know if you guys have seen in previous videos, but we got one over here to our right. We have another one to our left. If we go down the street, um, we have one straight down to the left also. So there's a lot of like Amazons here. 
so it could get confusing if it's the first time coming here but if you follow the relay app you should be kind of good to go like another one behind this building down the street just made it those are the sleeper cabs and luckily there's no wait to check in so we're just gonna check in drop this off and then take our 30 minute here and I believe we don't have anything to pick up so we'll just go straight to the yard after that all right so this is a parking spot we got a parking in i kind of set myself up wrong but we'll we'll make it work yeah we should be good right there So basically, we already, I basically checked out on the, on the phone app. So I'm gonna show you guys how, look, so you guys can see right now, I just checked out a JFK 8 and then I bobtailed out. Basically, I'm just taking my 30 minutes, but bobtailed out, meaning I'm, I'm not taking anything. So you guys can see my next stop, which is Avenel drop off bobtail and pick up a bobtail obviously because that's my last stop after that i was gonna go to the yard since i am basically done you'll click navigate and you'll see this pop up and you'll see right here report arrival issue because you guys can see right here drop off bobtail pick up bobtail so app not detecting my arrival it'll ask you are you at the yard uh, you just say yes Then you'll get the check-in even though I'm not physically there you could just check in And then you could just check out and then now it'll just send me straight to the yard and That's it All right guys, I uh, just made it back to the yard you guys can see it's mad dusty here I hate bringing my car here. I can't wait for my brother. He's gonna buy a car and then I'm gonna use his old, you know, car to bring it to work. So I don't have to keep driving my car to the yard because it always gets filthy. Like I wash him by the time I'm done with work, like throughout the week, my car is filthy again. So yeah, that's the only thing that sucks about like the yard here. But anyways, if you guys made it to the end of the video, make sure you guys smash the like button. Make sure you comment down below uh, any video suggestions you guys want to see in the future. Uh, if you guys are new, you guys want to know what to do. Press the bell notification button, subscribe, share the video, all that good stuff. Let's get this video up to 50 likes. I know we could do it. We're almost there to a thousand subscriber. We're going to be doing a giveaway once we hit that thousand mark. So, and we got more plans for the channel as well. So stay tuned, like the video and, you know, stay blessed. You'll always be grateful. God gives you another day. So take advantage of it. And with that being said, guys. Take care. Peace out.